Hi, let's get started crocheting. I will begin the lace from the foundation chain. Make a chain of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The foundation chain is ready. Then chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Then yarn over the hook. Then insert the hook into the six chain stitch away from the hook. Make double crochet. Then double crochet more into the same chain stitch. Then chain of two for the chain space. And double crochet into the next chain stitch and double crochet more into the same chain stitch. Then chain of five for the chain space. Then yarn over the hook. I skip one, two, three, four. Insert the hook into the six chain stitch. Make double crochet and make the second one. Then chain of two and two double crochet into the last chain stitch one and two. Then chain of three. I'm going to do three chain space on one side and five chain space on another one. Toward the work, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet, then double crochet more into the same chain space, chain of two, and two double crochet into the same chain space. Then chain of three for the chain space. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Then chain of three and two double crochet into the chain space. Chain of two. And two double crochet into the same chain space. It is going to be the middle lace. I'm done two rows and this part will repeat. I'm going to do two these rows as many times as I need. So I will alternate. Then I will show you how many rows do you need to create my pattern make a chain of five turn the work two double crochet into the chain space one two chain of two and two double crochet i'm repeating the previous row Chain of five, make two double crochet into the chain space, this row will be the same like the first one, chain of two, And two double crochet. Then chain of three. 
I turn the work. Look at this side. You can count three chain space in the lace. In total, it should be three chain spaces made of three chains on this side. Then I will show you what I'm going to do the next. Let's look what I have done. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I will show you what I'm doing the next. Next, I'm going to make a chain of 14. Let's look at the ready job. Here is my huge segment. I will crochet this chain space. Then I will crochet the small chain spaces. Here how my huge segment looks like. Let's crochet the huge segment. I did double crochet. Make a chain of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have done the chain space. I skip this chain space. Insert the hook into the second chain space. Make single crochet. Well done. Then single crochet one more time. Then chain of five for the chain space. Insert the hook into the next chain space. Make single crochet. Let's look. There is big one and a small one. Then chain of three. To bring up the yarn, turn the work, work into the chain space, make 12 double crochet into the first chain space. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I have done 12 double crochet into the chain space. Then insert the hook into the next chain space. Make single crochet and single crochet one more time. Like this. I continue working on my huge segment. Make a chain of 7, 1, 2, 3, four five six seven then turn the work yarn over the hook they are double crochet stitches one two three four five six insert the hook into the seventh stitch make double crochet make a chain yarn over the hook then i'm going to do puff stitches i skip the first stitch insert the hook into the second stitch pull up a loop in total it should be three strings one two three 
then yarn nowhere pull through except the last one and pull through two loops. My puff stitch is ready. Here how it looks. Chain. Skip the first stitch and make the puff stitch into the second stitch. Two, three, pull through except the last one and pull through two loops. Chain and I skip this stitch and insert the hook into the third chain stitch. Make three strings one, two, three, pull through except the last one and pull through. Let's stop and look what we have done. I continue working on my segment. In the lace, make a chain, turn the work, pull up a loop to the level of the puff stitch. Yarn over the hook and make the puff stitch one, two, three. Pull through except the last one and pull through two loops. Then make triple pico. Make a chain of three and make a slip stitch into two loops of the puff stitch. Then chain of five for the pico and to work with a slip stitch into the same two loops. Then chain of three and work with a slip stitch into the same two loops. So my puff stitch with triple pico is ready. Then make a chain, yarn over the hook, then make the puff stitch one, two, three, pull through except the last one, pull through, chain, work with the next puff stitch, one, two, three, pull through except the last one, pull through, chain, then yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, Make double crochet. Work into the chain space. Make 13 double crochet into this chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I have done all my stitches. Work into the next chain space, make two single crochet, the first petal of the huge segment is ready, I continue working on the next one, I am going to do in the same way as I showed you before. Make a chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I turn the work. Work with these stitches. I skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert the hook into the eighth stitch. Make double crochet, then chain, 
and work with the puff stitch into the second stitch. Pull through, pull through two loops, make a chain, then puff stitch into the second stitch. One, two, three, pull through except the last one and pull through two loops, make a chain. Work with the second stitch, make puff stitch. I have done three puff stitches. Then turn the work and I will show you how to continue. Make a chain, turn the work, pull up a loop to the level of the puff stitch and make the puff stitch. One, two, three, pull through all loops except the last one, pull through two loops. Let's make the triple pico. Make a chain of three for the pico, work with the slip stitch, then chain of five for the pico, work with the slip stitch. And chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch. My triple pico is ready. Continue working, make a chain and make the puff stitch. One, two, three, pull through except the last one, pull through two loops, make a chain. Then make the puff stitch. Chain and the next stitch, make double crochet. Make 13 double crochet into the chain space. Let's count them. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Well done. Then two single crochet into the big chain space. Let's stop. I have done two petals. Then you should continue working by yourself. You should repeat the second petal. Let's look at the ready work. I have done two petals. Here how they look like at this point. One, two. As I told you before, you should go on by yourself and repeat just second petal. In total it should be one, two, three, four, five, five petals. So I have done two of them, you should crochet three more by yourself. You can count by the pico, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see my amazing lace consists of two parts. The simple part and the segment part. So I have done my huge segment. I have done all five petals. And let's check one, two, three, four, five. Everything correct. So I can continue working on my lace. After I have done 
two single crochet into the chain space continue working on my lace part double crochet into the first chain space then chain of two and two double crochet into the same chain space continue working as i did before chain of three then single crochet then chain of three and double crochet twice then chain of two and two double crochet into the same chain space let's stop and look what we have done then i will show you how to continue working on my lace and how you can repeat this huge segment now i show you how my ready lace looks like let's look at the ready lace i stop at this stage this is my chain space then you should crochet some rows with three chain spaces there is three chain space and they are five chain spaces on the opposite side i will count from this point let's look how many chain spaces i need to do for the next piece one two three four five so in general you should crochet five more chain spaces made of three chains then i will show you how to begin my huge segment let's count one two three four five five three chain spaces you should do all these by yourself how to crochet such lace i showed you at the beginning of this video i will show you how to join two segments together i continue working on the segment i have already made all five chain spaces made of three chains there are five chain spaces made of three chains on this side one two three four five i begin the next one here is this point where i stopped it before let's count here one two three four five and there is the big chain space as you can see i skip it one chain space then i will join this chain space and make the next one and there is two free chain spaces between segments for this make a chain of 14 for the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 i skip one insert the hook into the second chain space make single crochet then single crochet more then chain of five for the chain space one two three four five insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet and as you remember i leave two chain spaces one two everything correct so i can continue so i'm going to work in the same way as i showed with you in the first segment let's crochet the first petal crochet the first petal for this make a chain of three to bring up the yarn turn the work make 12 double crochet into the chain space one two 
three and go on by yourself so you should continue working by yourself till this point then i will show you how to join two segments together i continue working on my second segment after i am done a row of puff stitches let's catch the next row make a chain for the next row pull up the working loop to the level of the chain but i don't do this i take the petal in the previous segment i skip seven stitches let's count one two three four five six seven insert the hook into the eighth stitch make single crochet then make puff stitch one two three pull through except the last one and pull through the joining point is ready then i will crochet the triple pico make a chain of three for the pico work with the slip stitch then chain of five and to work with the slip stitch chain of three and work with the slip stitch chain yarn over the hook make puff stitches make the first one chain and so on let's stop and look at work continue working in this way till the end of the segment and i would like to tell you some words about the pattern pattern has 12 rows this is the end of the first segment now let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is the end of the second segment the height is 12 rows so you should repeat as many times as you need here what i have so that's it my project is ready don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and my video tutorials this is my o1 pattern i created it recently only for you you can use it like a separate motif or it could be part of big project also you can use it like an edge for this project i used a ball of yarn and a crochet hook all additional information could be found in the description below the video let's look at the ready motif in this lace I used the half of this motif. The link on this motif could be found in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please write comment below the video what you will get with my video tutorial and where you will use it. Bye!